Melanism versus Leucism Melanism is the result of too much melanin being produced, resulting in dark plumage. A melanistic African sacred ibis and one with normal colouring. This is a genetic mutation or aberrant form of the same species and it is not a subspecies. Gabor Gossok, a very dark melanistic one and a regular coloured one next to it on the right. Melanism can be complete, as in the Gabor Gossok just seen, or partial, as in the sparrow that is coming up next. A partially melanistic southern grey-headed sparrow, and on the right, a normal coloured one. Leucism is the lack of melanin, resulting in white or very pale plumage. A leucistic red-winged starling and a normal coloured one on the right. This red-winged starling is partially leucistic with a black head and a white body. Here this bird can be seen with other red-winged starlings in its family group. Leucistic birds can have weakened feathers that are susceptible to wear and tear. A leucistic southern fiscal and on the right a normal coloured one. Being so white or pale makes them more conspicuous and vulnerable to predation. Two yellow bull ducks, a leucistic one on the left and a normal coloured one on the right. The much paler leucistic yellow bull duck. Being leucistic or melanistic can cause a bird to not be recognized by potential mates. A leucistic southern grey-headed sparrow. And on the right, a normal colored one. This bird has white plumage, but it has a dark eye, so it is not an albino. The same leucistic southern grey-headed sparrow with other normal coloured sparrows. Had its eye been pink, it would have been an albino. Three different forms of southern grey-headed sparrows are found in my garden during lockdown. I had a melanistic one, a normal coloured one, which I get a lot, and that pale leucistic one. Please feel free to subscribe, comment or share this video.